Hey guys, today my kids and I are gonna show you how to make the best teriyaki salmon. How much do you guys love it? Like, so like, much that I don't even know which number. Like infinity? Baked teriyaki salmon is a family favorite. It's made Wait, with tender flaky it salmon. Didn't say it yet. Say what? Hey guys. Okay, he wants to say hi. So it's made with tender flaky salmon in a homemade, easy and delicious teriyaki sauce, and it's bursting with flavor. So let's get started. But before we get started, I have to give a shout out to my cousins. They had gifted these cute little hoodies to my kids, and their Instagram handle is lift and uplift, L-N-U. And I love the message that they are trying to promote. On the back here, I don't know if you can see, but it says, strong people don't put others down, they lift them up. And I just really love the, that message. And like I said, their Instagram handle is lift and uplift. And I'll leave it in the description below if you wanna check them out. Tell them how you feel about these sweatshirts. The sweatshirts are really comfy. They're comfortable too. Fuzzy inside. Ooh. We love teriyaki anything in this house. It's basically a combination of savory, sweet, and slightly tangy flavors, and the sauce is incredibly easy to make. So we're gonna start by making our sauce. So I'm gonna be adding one fourth cup of soy sauce to a small bowl. Could I pour it? Okay, here, you can pour it. Wait, tell me what's top then. And it goes to the top. Okay. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, that's it. Oh, what? There we go. You just you just and now. then, oh, that, that's coming in next, or soon, hold on. And now we are gonna add two tablespoons of rice vinegar. Hmm. I'm gonna do one, two. And then Bradley is gonna add in the brown sugar. There's two tablespoons of brown sugar. Go ahead and add that in, Bradley. Yeah. Go ahead, dump. And then lastly, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of honey. I want to try the honey too. Is that two spoons or? Okay, ready, one. I want to try the oh, honey. We're gonna put two oh. tablespoons. Go ahead and use your finger, it's fine. Oh, I need my finger. Okay, <laughs> we need a napkin. Okay, ready? Let's do the second one. Mm. And Funny. go ahead and eat it. Oh my gosh. We'll eat it. Well, it's just us family that's gonna have this salmon, so. Fingers everywhere. Okay, hold on, Whoa. we need a napkin. Whoa! <laughs> now we have wiped our hands clean from the honey and we are ready to mix until it's well combined. So go ahead and mix the sauce up. Whoa, this thing's actually kind of hard. Hey, Bradley! I want to mix. Okay, you can mix next. After, after. And of course, if you have this kids, if you have kids, you know that whatever the older one does, the little one has to do too. So we'll let him mix it when he's done. Oh, I'm the big one. You're the big one? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's... All right, let's let Bradley have a mix. Go fast. And then Go we fast. are ready to pour on to our salmon. So now we have two pounds of a salmon filet. We are going to season it with some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So you wanna go ahead and start with the salt, Erin. And then Bradley does the pepper. Okay. Why is it left or right? I wanna do it. It's coming out all the way around. Okay, this side. in the house, remember? All right, that's enough salt. Okay. You don't wanna put too much salt because we do have some soy sauce. Okay, let Bradley do the pepper. Bradley. And we try to have salmon at least once a week at our house because my kids love seafood. And this, <laughs> and this is one of my favorite recipes to make because as you can this see, side, it requires side, like very side, minimal right. prep work. I'll do it, I'll take over Bradley. Okay. I'll take over. Let Bradley do the last oh, part. Right. And then we are gonna Wait. just add um, some garlic powder. Speaking of pepper, I have a joke. And salt and pepper, I don't know. Why do so uh, sharks live in uh, uh, Why do what? salt water? Why do what? Why do salt, it's uh, salt. Why do sharks live in salt water? Why? Because pepper water when they get seas. <laughs> Where'd you learn that? I don't know. You made that up? No. No, I didn't make that up. I heard it from a long time ago. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're gonna also season it oh, with some garlic powder. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it. No measuring here, just eye it. 
story, guys. Okay, mm. let me hold on, guys. Garlic powder. Okay. Oh my god, powder. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Stop putting the garlic please. powder. And then we are gonna pour over the sauce that we mixed up earlier. I'm gonna pour it over, just evenly over the salmon. Please. Evenly over the salmon. I'll go over here. Actually, you wanna go and grab a spoon uh, for me? Oh, my people! Wait, which spoon? Just a tablespoon. Wait, Thank wait. you. And uh, you just wanna spoon wait, the sauce. Wait, wait, I have one. I go ahead, just spoon the sauce over the salmon. So that the sauce, oh the salmon is well coated with the sauce. And I still want to eat it, uh, eat this raw. Mm -hmm. We got to take you out for sushi. I want to do it. I want to do yeah. it. Yeah. And honestly, this is so easy enough. You see my kids doing the cooking. It's so simple to put together. All right, so our salmon is well coated with the sauce. Lastly, because I love cooking seafood with butter, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter, just to make it that much better. And we don't have to melt it, we're just gonna place it right on top of the salmon. You like that. Like that, yeah. And we are or ready to it. bake this. I have my oven preheated to 400 mm. degrees, and we're gonna bake it, don't push oh, it. Oh. You guys stop. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We are gonna bake it for about 15 to 20 I minutes. You wanna check after 15 minutes, and basically you just wanna cook it until it's completely cooked through. Okay, well meet me at the oven. The salmon dish was so easy to prepare and now it's ready to go into the oven. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees and I'm gonna place it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the thickness. And when it's done, I'm gonna place it underneath the broiler for about one to two minutes. And when it's done, look how delicious it turned out. And oh my goodness, this sauce goes so well with some steamed rice. Now our salmon is all through cooking. And I forgot to mention earlier that I did leave the skin on. So if you don't like the skin, it's once it's cooked through, it just slides right off. And then I did add, if you wanna add more, I did add some um, sesame seeds. Um, this is totally optional, I, just because I have it and it looks really pretty in the pictures. Just take a pinch, no, no, not the whole thing. Oh. Just take a pinch and go I ahead. I like I would just, okay. Yeah, just sprinkle it around. And like I mentioned, you do not need to add sesame seeds. I just added this for presentation. And we are ready to serve this up. It does make a good amount of sauce, as you can see. And we like to serve it over some steamed rice. The sauce really goes good over some rice. And then you could also make like a side of veggies, some broccoli or asparagus would go well. The, oh like, my gosh, look how flaky this is. It's so good, oh my gosh. I wanna All gobble right. it up. You wanna gobble it up? All right, Ooh, so we got skin, a nice chunk. Skin. There's a skin right there. I kinda want the skin too. Well, we'll try it first without okay. the skin. And okay. then I'll add some skin. Okay. Yeah, I love salmon skin. You love salmon skin. I am skin. not a fan, but he, he will actually eat the skin. Just watch me in this video, just watch me. <laughs> And the sauce is looking so good. It has that buttery texture because we did add two tablespoons of butter. And now let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Mmm. 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 It's savory from the soy sauce, mm. sweet from the brown sugar and honey. Has a little bit of tank from the rice vinegar. Honestly, if you guys love salmon, you have to try this recipe out. And I'll go ahead and check out all my other salmon recipes. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take you care. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs>